Josh Akowski is finishing his junior year at the Kings Academy as the most decorated athlete in school history. While swimming for TKA, Josh has achieved an unprecedented amount of accolades. During his time here, he has become a six-time state champion, 13-time All-American, two-time Swimmer of the Year by both the Palm Beach Post and the South Florida Sun Sentinel, two-time Mr. Florida Swimmer of the Year, he holds numerous national age group swimming records, he is a national high school swimming record holder, and is a top three recruit in the nation for the class of 2022. In June, Josh will travel to Omaha, Nebraska to compete in the USA Swimming Olympic Trials for a chance to be a part of the Olympic team that will represent Team USA in Tokyo, Japan later this summer. Josh achieved the qualifying times for Olympic trials as a freshman. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Olympic trials is postponed a year. While in Omaha, Josh will be one of the youngest male competitors. My name is Josh Zikowski and I'm a junior. Uh, I started swimming when I was seven years old but I didn't really get into it until maybe eight to nine. Uh, my favorite part is how you really have to train every day and how you can't take days off and you have your teammates around you and you know that if you take a day off that you're hurt only hurting yourself and your teammates are there to push you every day and just you know that you're getting better every day. Uh, I would say that we have a really great team compared to the other teams that I was on as a younger kid. The older kids didn't really like the younger kids, I would say. And I feel like on our team, we have a great combination of pushing each other, as well as being supportive to the next generation and making sure that the future at King stays great. Uh, so Olympic trials is in June, and it's not a junior Olympics, it's not 18 and under. It's the true Olympic trials where Michael Phelps competes to qualify for every Olympics. It's, it's the real deal and this is the fastest meet in the U.S. every four years. Uh, I qualified in three events, the 400 IM, the 100 back, and the 200 back. Uh, I would say I'm equally as excited for the 100 and 200 back. Over the past few months, I've really been locked in more than I ever have. I've been pushing myself every day more than I ever have. And every morning, Tuesday and Thursdays, I swim 5.30 to 7.30 at an Olympic-sized pool that I was invited to. I went virtual this entire year. It was definitely a challenge at times as I took five APs at the same time, but I really thought of it like college and getting prepared for college, having to put myself onto a schedule every day that my parents or no teachers made sure that I was on. Uh, this upcoming varsity season, I think my main goals are to get as close to the national high school records as possible, meaning that I'm the fastest high schooler ever. But other than that, I think I just really want to have a good year with our boys team and the whole team in general. Uh, yeah, no, this past year, the training team and everything, especially in high school season, was, was really amazing. We all knew what our goals were and we all knew what we wanted to accomplish, so me, Christian, Noah and Pace and everybody else on the team would just push each other every day, hoping to get to that point that we wanted to again. This, uh, this sport has really been a blessing to me. Uh, the big reason I wanted to, I think ever since I was 10, wasn't really Olympic goals, but my big thing was just getting to college and getting the best education that I could. Last year, June 15th, uh, it was the first day where college coaches could reach out and talk to me, and I was blessed enough to have every Division One Power Five swimming school reach out to me and want to talk, and it was really a blessing. I'm looking forward to, in the next few months, making my commitment public. Yeah, uh, a big thing about this trials and one of the reasons it's been so inspirational to me and just how long I've been wanting to get to this point is I went in 2012 and 2016, and I told my dad in 2016 that I didn't want to come back as a spectator, and the only way I was going to come back was if I was an athlete. And from that point in 2016, as everybody knows, my family and everybody has had a pretty rough time with my dad getting cancer. And it's really given me an extra motivation and just factor to just push every day for him and get to this point and show that it doesn't matter what happens, I can still reach my goals, even with all these extra factors that come into play. It's really amazing. At times, a lot of times, we can get on each other's nerves 
and I see him as a dad instead of a coach, and he sees me as a son instead of a swimmer, which can definitely be rough, and we just get on each other a lot more, as anybody whose parent is their coach in a sport knows. But I know that he has his best intentions for me at heart, and he always knows what's best for me and what will get me to my goals, since he knows all my goals. And I would say he even has greater goals for me than I have for myself. So he really pushes me every day and knows what will help me get to that point that I want to get to. Josh, good luck at Olympic trials. You're going to do great. Just remember that you always have your TKA family here at home cheering for you. God bless and go Lions.